Welcome back to the channel, where we like to take deep dives on John Deere's finest equipment. Today, we're covering the 4440. The 4440 has become a staple among farmers and collectors alike, and has truly earned its place on the all-time classics list. But what makes this tractor so awesome? Let's find out. For this story to start, we're going to be going back to the late 70s, where John Deere would be finishing up their run on the 30 series tractors. Now these 30 series tractors were the first of the generation 2's which followed the 4020's and ran from 73 to 1977. And it was at the beginning of 1977 when John Deere would shut down its production line of the 30 series and begin getting all their factory employees and tools ready to go to work on the 40 series. And in 1978, John Deere would release what they would call their Iron Horse series. That would include the 4440. Now this new 40 series would see quite a few upgrades from the previous 30 series, including cosmetic details, more power, better transmissions, and better front ends. One of the biggest things that separated the 4430 and the 4440 was the engine. John Deere decided to go away from the 404 and put a 466 engine in there, and this would prove to be a good choice. The 466 would be a turboed 4 and 5 8 bore by 4 and 3 quarter inch stroke that would turn out over 130 horsepower and have a max pull of 13,392 pounds. This would give around a 10 horse bump from the 30 series, and you'd also see better starting and reliability. Along with the new engine, John Deere would beef up the 4440 giving it a couple thousand pound boost over the 30 series. The max weight on the 4440 would be 13,270 pounds. A catchphrase Deere used to back this new lineup was more horses, more iron, and they couldn't have hit the nail more on the head. A couple small things the 4440 received was an increased radiator size, along with a new dual pressure cooling system. One feature John Deere discontinued at the end of the 30 series was the synchro range and creeper transmission. This would leave what would become two of the most famous transmissions for Deere up available for the 4440. This would be the power shift transmission or the quad range. The quad range would feature six forward speeds and six reverse, where the power shift would feature eight forward and four reverse. One of the biggest draws to the quad range was it was $1,500 cheaper than a power shift and offered more speed variants. The 4440 would also see improved hydraulics. They would see a new rock shaft assembly that allowed for 26% more weight to be carried and still seems good enough to this day. The 4440 would feature two selective control valves, but many farmers would be given the option to add a power beyond valve. This extra valve would allow for one extra hydraulic function whether that be on the loader or any other attachment you were running. One of the best cabs in the day was the John Deere Soundguard, and they kept the same body of this for the 4440, but improved small things to make it an even quieter place to work out of. They added more foam and different upholstery in different spots, along with the availability of an upgraded seat. For just over $300, you could have the seat upgraded to a Hydra Cushion suspension seat. These seats would use accumulators that were charged with nitrogen to keep a better ride while going across rough terrain. One thing that was changed at the end of the first production year of the 4440 was the rear axle size. They increased it by about 6 millimeters. The 158 loader would be the main loader of the day built for this tractor, but you'd also see a lot of 148 loaders being put on it. And now today, you even see some of the newer style loaders getting mounted and adapted on. The 4440 would be offered in a couple different variants. One being the normal row crop that we all know and love. Another would be the high crop. John Deere would also give the option for hydraulic front wheel assist, but these weren't as common back then and the demand wasn't there. One of the highest selling 4440s of all time was sold in 2022 going for $72,000. Now this tractor had 2,700 hours on it with a power shift in it, but still ran up this crazy price. With 66,000 of these tractors produced, it's no surprise that they made it to farms all across the country and became favorites of many people to this day. 
They'd run the 4440 for five years, cutting the run off in 1982. And it was in 1982 they'd see the release of its big brother, the 4450. Now this would come on to see even more changes, bringing us an even better built tractor. Anyways guys, I want to thank you all for watching this short history of the 4440. If you enjoyed, go ahead and hit subscribe and like this video, and we'll catch you in the next one.